Ah, uh, OK. So uh, first thing, uh, Carl Jonas Lett wants uh, Sark suck APL's dick. Well, Sark's not here. Yeah. Actually, he's probably under the table right now already fulfilling that first request. You, you, Why has it always got to be a dick? Why can't it just be like, uh, like there's, there's so many other body can parts. You, I, you, I, no, you, no, you, no. What, no. Body, what, what are you doing in Sark's apron? Um, well, he, uh, it was I haven't seen Sark literally in two days, and yeah. you come in wearing his apron. Very suspicious. You know, sometimes we should you start just... the show. We should start the show. Fuck you, Bora. Yeah, fuck you. What's going on, guys? <laughs> Welcome to Respawn Inbox. We don't know where Sark is. We seem to have lost him. And who shows up but Boref yeah. in his garments? Well, I know where Sark is. Do you? Yeah. Where is he? I'm pretty sure he's suffering from mono caused by last week's episode where he kissed you. Yeah, you're a, like, you're yeah. a carrier, man. Yeah, like one, he man, be. one man mooch, smooch, yeah. well, and suddenly he now. I also like how pants. you opened your mouth when he kissed you. That we was... don't need to talk about any of this. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's, um. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, obviously, Ricky, thanks for coming back. <laughs> Glad to be back. Fan favorite. And are you okay over here? Sorry. What's, what's going on? Just Donald. Get your game face sorry, on, bro. Sorry, sorry. I know. Real deal. Yes, professional. Yeah. I'm hoping the mail will drop because I don't have Sark's powers to be able to pull the mail down. And so I'm really hoping any. Thank you. Oh, look. Wow, that's weird. The envelope has a note on it. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> the envelope does have a note on it. Or if I'm gonna let you open it up, but why don't you show everyone what the envelope says? Fuck you, Boroth. Mom. <laughs> Even Sorry. your mom's I laughed at that a little too hard, but well, your mom fucking hates you. How does that make you feel? Uh, Max Lundgren, if you hit a midget, is it the same as hitting a child? I don't think, I don't think legally it is. I think no, it, not legally. Well, I get the same enjoyment It's the same it. as hitting something yeah. that's worthless. Yeah. The more exactly. important question is, which would you <laughs> enjoy more? <laughs> wow. I'm kidding. I love midgets. And they like to be called little people, I think. <clears throat> All right. The next question comes from Ben Ernst. Ben Ernst asks, which one of us po poisoned Sark? I think uh, we already answered that. You, you poisoned him with your mouth disease. I didn't think I had mono, but apparently the tests show otherwise. Yeah. So he's a little under the weather. Yeah. So I'm sorry. I Sark had to, to get you. tested after after that kiss, and then yeah. uh, it came out that APL has pretty much everything. So if Sark got sick from just kissing you... You might want to use some mouthwash a little bit. Yeah. Nice. Jesse Lester. What's your bottom dollar... This is really... Jess, what's your bottom dollar to take a load in the mouth? Boris. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently we'll just Boris the, the this vague one. notion of internet fame. Yeah. Yeah. So, Thanks for these so questions, for Mondo. Yeah, this Keeping is really, good, this is really yeah. getting out of the gutter. Very consistent. <laughs> yeah, very good. I'd say a million. A million dollars? What about you, Ricky? 999,999. So I can beat Bora up and actually get that money. I don't know. I don't know what it would, it all depends on the day and how horny I am. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> Dalton Dunn asks, which Sesame Street character would you fuck and oh why? God. Big Bird. Wow, that, you, you, that you had that one planned. <laughs> What's, why? Why, why, why would, would you fuck, fuck Big, Big Bird? Bird? Uh, he's tall enough I could look him in the eyes. He's, I think okay. he's taller than you. Yeah, he's probably, he's like, isn't he? You would look him right in, the, uh, right in the breast. Yeah. You'd get all that plumage right in your face. Well, mostly it's just because there's the cloaca. What? You see, on birds, they don't have normal, like, you know, they don't have dicks. They have a cloaca. So when one bird loves another bird very much, they have a cloacal kiss where the two birds' assholes press up against each other. You've thought, you've definitely thought way too much about this. Not that, even that today. That is literally the most In the past, you've image thought about fucking a bird. Of you docking with fucking yeah. big bird is terrifying to me. Jesus. How, well, about, you? How about you, APA? Um, I would probably go with Elmo, because I feel like he'd be real tender. <laughs> <laughs> and he's young. <laughs> I'd do uh, Oscar the Grouch, see if I can make him happy. Is it because you want to fuck on a pile of trash? Yeah, in, <laughs> in a pile of trash, yeah. If I'm going to be doing that, I might as well just sink to the very bottom. That's true. If yeah. you're going to go, go, go there, go all the way. And then what if he changed after that and he was Oscar the content with his sexual experience? <laughs> that would probably. That would really change the whole origin of the show, though. You're <laughs> really messing with the show yeah. there. <laughs> all right, Rene Montalvo wants to know if you were trapped on Mount Everest with Spike Lee and you were both naked, what would you do? Jump. I would jump nonstop. Yeah? Is it because he's black? No, it's mostly just to make my dick flop around. Why are you racist? What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? <laughs> that makes no sense at all. Why? <laughs> you want to make your dick flop around <laughs> off of Mount Everest? 
Everest. To impress Spike Lee? <laughs> I want to flip Everest. a dick on Mount Everest. That's the flag you plant, is your is your floppy dick. Yeah. I I don't... I would succumb to hypothermia because I'm naked on top of the... Yeah. One of the highest points What realistically is going to happen, you're both... If you're both naked, you're both huddling, right? For body warmth until yeah. you die. Yeah. So you're probably spooning with Spike Lee. I mean, that's probably... That's a happening. good way to go out. I yeah. Think, I, mean, I mean, he's made, he's directed some great movies. Cancer, dying while embracing Spike Lee. Yeah. And, and then the best thing is, is they found bodies that are like frozen <laughs> up there. And it would just be Boruff in a running position with a, with a just an elongated dude. hard cop. You, you, would be, <laughs> you would be hard. He would be hard. Yeah, oh yeah, he would die hard. He would die hard. Liam Oliver asks, name your penis with a movie title. Deep Impact. Panaconda. Ooh. Strong. Yes. Yeah. Mine would be Alone in the Dark. <laughs> Don Rubes asks, why is Boruff so racist? Ha 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 ha. Wow. Yeah. Can we get can we get an explanation yeah, as to your racism? Are you, why are you so racist? Well, you have to be able to win at something. So you wanna win at racism? What the fuck? Well, you you wanna be the best racist in the world? Well. Pretty sure Hitler has your beat on that one. Wait, no, aren't or you are signing? you I've seen your Lederhosen picture. Are you like German? Oh shit. He is. He is well, German. I guess we know who the bastard father is wow. to, to Boruch's mom. Adolf Hitler. Now's a part of the show where we do rapid fire. Let's get away from Boris racism and answer some of your questions in super super fucking fast mode. Let's do it. John K. Bowers wants to know if we'd rather have our hands replaced with dust pans or sweat peanut butter for the rest of our fucking lives. Peanut butter butter hands. Hands. Alex Chapman writes, shit your bed or be on a date with a hot girl, but piss yourself. I want to piss in my date. Shit on my date! Robert Ramirez asks, would you rather dip your hand in acid or drink a gallon of semen? Well, I'm drinking a gallon of semen. Yeah, I think I'm going with the semen. You don't well, want to lose the reach of your hand. It yeah. could just be citric acid. I mean, it could be orange juice you're dipping your hand into. It, it could be horse semen, which for some reason to me seems a lot less yeah, gross. Yeah, a lot than... less gross. What well, if I, mean, I want to drink the semen? Well, I mean, like yeah. caviar is basically just fish eggs. They so drink semen kind of on Fear thing. Factor. If they can do it, I can do it. Yeah, not lose my hand. I have semen. faith that you can drink semen. No, I'm not losing my hand. I need that thing for playing with myself. Semen. Mail in Embercon Emerson wants to know if you like silicone boobs or butts better. Silicone boobs! Oh, Theater Scott Weibold writes, Circle jerk with amputees, or be blown by an old lady with dentures. Circle dentures. jerk. You're, you're, what? That. <laughs> the I, woman with dentures. A amputees. Chad Mielin asks, who's ready to fuck Batman or Robin? Double Robin. teamed by both of them. Batman. Ross McAvoy wants to know if we'd rather get our dick chewed off by a rat or lose both of our arms. Lose, lose your arms. arms. Get rid of the arms. You need, you need your dick. Yep. A Muslim he asks, would you rather butt fuck a unicorn or jack off a dragon? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jerk that dragon. dragon dick right off. Ask you who the person wants to know if we'd rather walk around with a pencil stuck up our ass all day or have a penis drawn on our face that was actually depicted from the human male genitalia. Penis, penis on, on the face. face. Definitely. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Respawn Inbox, a la Sark, even though he wasn't here and he's sick because he got mono from me. Borf, don't you have something to tell the people real fast? Uh, I did a bungee cord jump. Um, it's going to be in the description, so you can go ahead down there, click on it if you want to see it. The bungee jump will be in the description? The mm -hmm. bungee jump itself will be oh, in the description. The video. Of the video, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, there's also a Twitter thing that's going on. You can also see in the video. I'm not going to explain it too much, but it's uh, got hashtag BorfToss2012 in there. And uh, BorfToss2012, get it trending. Yeah, Twitter Twitter it at uh, Machinima Respawn's Twitter. Yeah, next week, hopefully Sark will be back and over the mono. And Please come back, Sark. Fucking Borf won't be here. Please, God. Sark, please come back. They yeah. hurt me. Fucking the worst episode of Inbox we've ever done, probably. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that's the comment. I'm, I'm glad you're back here, though, Ricky. Yeah. I'm going to leave that comment, and I, I want everyone to make sure it's the top one. I'm going to take yeah. a shit on both your desks. Mm. Well, you're going to be dead. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you, Bora. Sammy Lee writes, would you bang five Victoria's Secret models and have it be a secret, or tell everyone that you banged five Victoria's Secret models but actually did nothing? Faster. Do it faster. Sammy Lee writes, would you bang five Victoria's Secret models but have it be a secret, or would you bang secret five models and then not tell everybody? Faster! Ah! Damn it, Boris! Faster! Sammy Lee writes, would you bang five Victoria's Secret models and then not tell anybody about it, but would you also then instead do, God damn it! This is... <laughs> Damn it! Okay, Sammy Lee writes, bang five Victoria's Secret Fuck the models! Fuck them. Mm -hmm. Ah. Ah. Fuck all you guys. <laughs>